Hey guys, Bots and Blasters here, another episode of Nerf Thrifting on this raining day. It is absolutely pouring outside, but we're at our first Goodwill all the same, and that's not going to let me be detoured. By the way, we find a flight, I think the same one from two weeks ago. Uh, no price this time, so I had to leave it. This is the day of no price tags apparently, because here, right next to it, one of those Arsenal Blasters, also no price on it. Oh well. Over here I did find a Ryan's World Blaster for $2.99 which is a bit too much for a knockoff reflex. Six. Right here a Wizard $2.99 not worth that price. Digging over here something caught my eye and it was a squirt gun. Nope that can stay there. A laser lock laser blaster. Not what I'm looking for. Another one I suppose right next to a reflex six so that's why it caught my eye and of course the reflex six itself I always find these here and right next to it a few paces away a uh, proton I really like this blaster this is the white out variety I believe feel free to correct me another reflex six this one with a broken priming bar that's a little weird and hello finally one of my holy grails a nail biter for $1.99 that is a fantastic deal and I just like the overall look at it I know it's not the best but it's something that I've wanted for a long time for aesthetic purposes and of course right under it another reflex six so that can stay here I see him everywhere this broken hammer shot blaze storm I believe no thank you this weird water pistol no thank you and another XBZ. This one is untouched, unmodded, so I will be picking that up. A Cougar here that's been butchered. <laughs> and underneath that, right here, a Busby Slingshot. That's cool. I also see a stock attachment there that I didn't see until after reviewing the footage. So, that was a bad on me. It looks like one of those foldable stocks, possibly from a Spectre. And I kicked myself for not getting it. But I did find this pristine recon stock, which was interesting because I was looking for a stock to try to stick on the nail biter. A few paces over, found this disruptor and a Praxis, I believe. Yes, a Praxis for $3.99 was a bit much, so I left that behind for somebody else. And of course, this Dreadbolt, which has been here forever. And it's going to die here. I'm not taking it home. Over here I found another Proton in the normal flavor, and uh, no price tag once again, so I had to leave it behind, but I have plenty. Over here found this Slime Blaster that Family Foam Sport recommended to me. Uh, so I went ahead and picked it up this time, 2 it's not bad. A Tech 6, these are really good for replacement springs. Really good spring donors, no price though. And then over here, a Messenger, which was pretty beefy. But we went ahead and moved on to our next Goodwill, since I can't do a recap because of the rain. Stepping right inside, found one of these Fortnite swords, but it wasn't foam, so left it behind. Moving things around, trying to grab what I can, and resistance bands, not what I'm looking for. Found this interesting target system, but uh, nope, moving right along. A Zing style bow, don't know. Uh, one of these, I think this is a fast shot. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. An air blaster fast shot. Could be wrong, left it behind. And then found this old crummy recon. It was very janked up, so this got left behind. Then we moved on to Texas Thrift. The rain had subsided a bit. Found this minions blast that I absolutely wanted, but I could not justify a reason to spend that much for it. Four bucks was a bit high for a goofy blaster. Over here found a liberator. I always find these. They're good when they're in working shape, but oftentimes people break them and they do not know how to repair them. Another Arsenal Blasters. These ones have been here forever. A Thundershot. This one with the good barrels. If they have the round barrels, don't even waste time on it. But this one was broken all the same. That's why you test the triggers. Over here was a Powerball, I believe. No hopper. Left it behind. A Fortnite Mega Blaster. This is actually the first time I consciously picked one up. So, was glad to see that. Moving some of this around. One of the Zuru early blasters, no idea how it worked. Oh well, AF, maybe Adventure Force, could be wrong or a knockoff. And this blaster, I've seen this blaster around a lot recently. Nothing is known about it with me, feel free to let me know. 
One of these Alpha Strike Blasters, the six shot cylinder pullbacks. It was painful to hold. One of these really cool old school dart tag targets. That was cool to pick up. You don't see very much dart tag stuff around. Over here, a Delta Trooper for 298. That's not a bad deal, but I don't need any more. Uh, a broken Wookiee Bowcaster, though, <laughs> for the Star Wars nerf line. Left that behind. Another one of these Alpha Rogues. I see these everywhere. 298 is a bit much. No, thank you. Down here, this is a nerf related, but it was interesting to see one of these like pop guns. You pull them back and the top pops off. Asking one idea. It's not a bad deal for them. A quadrant. Uh, it's okay. It's one of the only things from the AccuStrike line I liked. 298 for a combat clash. No, thank you. Another Zingbo. This one actually lit up. That's interesting. Moving along here. Always got to check the girl section just in case Rebel Blasters. But then we move on to the bagged areas. Move things around. Nope. Thought that could have been gold, but it wasn't. Sometimes you just have to look. Take time and look at everything. Like down here, a Snapfire with a Llama Blaster for Fortnite and a Tech 3. Here's a Triad, a Jolt, Roblox Blaster, and a Fire Strike. Left those behind. And in here, a Maverick. And I think that's a Scout Mark II. So. Uh, yeah, that wasn't worth the price of those at all. Left those behind. Down here though, another triad with a Alpha Strike Jolt and a Zeru Micro. Not bad. Over here, Fortnite 4 Shot. Hammer Prime, see these all the time. Excited to pick this one up though. Because why not? Then I headed all the way across my normal thrifting rounds because we had the day off to go to Thrift City. Just in case, I had a hunch. And the hunch was unfounded. <laughs> there was nothing here. Unless you guys like Poe Dameron. You guys remember Poe Dameron? Yeah, me neither. Going around the other side, taking a look. An ATM. We do need some more money, but uh, <laughs> just move right along. A couple of odds and ends here that looked promising, but nothing major. This poor Optimus that got butchered, and for $7.99, that is not a good deal. Especially when pieces are literally broken off and they probably could be fixed but it's not worth my time. Headed over to Texas Thrift next. Looking inside right away and this looks really promising. A Cyclone Shock. I have a bunch of these already including different variants so I left this one behind but still cool to see Mega Blasters out in the wild. Tetra Shot still in package. Oh my goodness right underneath this Avengers pinball game a couple of Avenger Force blasters let's go to move this out of the way Marvel Heroes no thank you there you go you can go there we go one of the Adventure Force Flip Furies which wasn't working and this is why you test triggers yeah it was not working at all a night attack this is pretty cool to see especially with the clip And another one of the Arsenal Blasters with the second clip from the Night Attack. So, hmm. I see where they pieced them out. Over here, a Fortnite. I believe this was some kind of shotgun. I've never seen this one before, but it was really roughed up and the price was not shown in this location. If it doesn't have the price, they won't even sell it to you. So that's why I left it. And an Xbox controller, because I needed no way. No, I don't. <laughs> this is what I wanted to look at. Another Reflex 6 because it's in the wrong area. <laughs> a Battle Blazer. Oh goody. I see these everywhere. Not for those prices. No thank you. A Maverick because it's been a minute since I've seen one. <laughs> Especially for those prices. Oh my goodness. 298. That's ridiculous. Let's see, moving right along here. Hey, you guys remember the Exploders? There they are. And now they have gel blasters, which are kind of the same thing. This Ryan World blaster here, not really a big fan of it. They have proprietary mags, so left it behind. And then over here, a hero shotgun. I've seen these before in like Five Below and stuff. They're quirky. Not good, quirky. 
Over here, another exploder. Somebody really got rid of their line. <laughs> the barrels are good to repurpose if you're messing around with Boomco for any reason. And this is the second one of these blasters I saw. And I really want to know more about them, so please, if anybody has any information, let me know. Another Liberator. And you guys can see why I pass on Liberator so much, because I see them almost everywhere. A Butchered Reflex 6, which, I mean, poor thing. Somebody really hated it. <laughs> Oh my god. And then uh, over here a super drum. Which thank you for somebody for giving me the information that for that in PMs a couple of videos back. And down here another X Shock Blaster. I've seen this one before, mainly in the skins line. I really like it because it's tactile and it responds. But they won't sell it by itself. And here was one with a destroyer. And over here was a couple of random, I guess, squirt guns. Not really blasters. A sidewinder here for four bucks, but not worth it without the uh, drum that goes with it. Over here I saw orange, so I went to investigate. A couple of Alpha Strike nerf targets to shoot at, not bad. A Spider-Man foregrip blaster. These are always quirky to see. Uh, checking right along here. Here was an X-Shot 3 barrel blaster, but also with some Adventure Force rounds, so that was interesting. Here a couple of Elite 2.0 quad fires and random odds and ends, nothing that really caught my attention. And uh, yeah, over here a couple of, uh, I think these are called Talons, Claws, and a Jaguar. But yeah, enough of that, let's go into the reveal. So, quick little change to the format, I'll start doing my recaps at the end, uh, especially like today, where it was raining all over the place, it kind of reminded me, hey, you know, sometimes you don't always have the option or luxury to do it right after a store. So, that's how I'll be doing things from now on. First up, after the first goodwill, I went ahead and I got the nail biter after all, really nice. I know this blaster ain't the best, but it's something I've wanted for a long time. Uh, I just like the aesthetic of it. And I think it'd be really fun, goofy, uh, secondary for certain wars, especially because it has the uh, the carabiner hook here. So just clip it off the <laughs> clip it off my belt and reach down and be like, ha! <laughs> uh, I also did end up getting the uh, Lone Stock, which okay, I thought this was like sun bleached originally, but even inside of the clip there, if you guys can see it, is yellow. So I don't know if this is from the uh, Recon line, I'm sorry, the, the Icon line or something, or this is just a really good old stock, but it is literally pristine. And plus, these stocks are always good to pair with any other blaster that has an in-strike uh, stock attachment point, because people usually want stocks, so these are good just to toss at people. Also from the same store, I went ahead and I got a... The Blazooka Extreme. These are really fun in case you don't know what these are. Uh, these essentially can fire uh, demolition rockets or... Pretty much anything you want really. These are also real good. You can cut this out, barrel it down, uh, cover these uh, air holes there, which, yeah, there you go. And these can also be made to single uh, single fire elite style darts really well, but uh, kind of dangerous nowadays. <laughs> it's got a good bladder still, so if you press the trigger button, you just hear it. And you can't really see it, but uh, once you have it properly uh, adjusted, it kind of like steams out air and it's just really cool. So got this for a future integration. Now also on the way of like hamps, I went ahead and I got this. <laughs> you guys are probably hearing it farting off screen. This is a slime ball. I got I saw this a few trips back and it was still there. They got a temp I think from a uh, family foam. He says these are really good to like rebarrel. Go ahead and you pump it here from the back, and once it's all properly seated, there we go. <laughs> it's a bit big for my my current filming setup. Oh, also, um, on the way out for like one ninety nine, this it wasn't priced, so I just put it in my basket, and the girl was cool enough to uh, let me have it for one ninety nine. It is a, I think this is a Rebel Messenger because uh, it has the uh, the red barrels. But what's really interesting about this one. I was noticing there's like some hot glue or something on the sides and this spring prime oh, that's like a 26 in there and you can hear it just from the how strong that is with an air restrictor in place so it slides out and I think this is like a yeah it's a little pin 
Shit, what? Oh my god, it still rains. <laughs> Oh, nothing else that's gimmicky. That was supposed to be what you were supposed to write on your, uh, on the white darts. And then you send the message in. <laughs> Alright, got a couple of darts from the plinking bin. I have my war bin, which is what we take to wars, and then I have my plinking bin, which is just like randoms and well-worn darts. Yeah, that's a K26 in there. If you can hear how loud it's slapping, I really don't have it set up where I can give a proper demonstration. But yeah, that's pretty beefy. Um, I can remove those pegs. But I really don't want to because once you start messing with things that have air restrictors, they, it really messes them up. They're not the same afterwards. Went ahead and loaded the nail biter with some with some rando darts too, just to uh, test it out. And we'll just see what happens. So, this is unmodified, so. Oh yeah, that works. Happy with that. This is not a very war practical blaster, it's more of a emotional blaster, and I appreciate that. The next store that I thought that I stopped at, I didn't get anything nerf related, but I got something channel related. That's a new tripod here for $5.99. I thought that was a really good deal. Uh, it'll help me set up things like for more cameras, more chronograph readings, etc. You never know. Alright. At the last stop we ended up stopping at, which was a Texas thrift, I went ahead and I got this old school dart tag. Uh, it's like a Velcro. Uh, targets. I've never seen this before. Big fan of dart tag, especially back in the day. I was sadly too old to compete <laughs> when it was a thing, but I was like, yes, definitely something I can pick up, take the 99 cent sticker off, and just like set up to plank at. So, really, really cool. Uh, then I also got, I've seen these around a lot, but I've never seen them at a reasonable price. It's one of the Fortnite, um, I forgot the official name, but basically it's the Mega Shooter, and, you know, it was only $1.99. In my game, uh, these puncture shields, they go through them. They don't break the shields, but they do count as a tag on the person, so it's very useful to have one of these, or as people have recently been buying since they're on sale, the Mega XL stuff, because those completely break the shield for the entire round, so, yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll shoot a couple of rounds off. I got some, the Mega Darts. We actually do prefer the Whistler type in our group, because the whistle lets you know what you've been hit with. So these are the My Little Valentine ones. They're decent alternatives. Nice. Do one more of the old school original ones. Which, I haven't seen much Mega stuff anymore. I don't know if you guys have, but I haven't seen it around. I think they're phasing out Mega and Mega XL, which is sad. And last but not least, I went ahead and I got the Fortnite Hammer Prime, I don't know, four shot, four victory Fortnite player. Let me go ahead and load some stuff in that and give it a few shots. Go, went ahead and got the uh, Fortnite Hammer Shot with uh, four randos, so just shoot them off. Wow, that shot out an, an extra one. That could have been a bad dart. Let me refill that slot. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that could have been a bad port. That could be a bad port. This is why I don't like AR guns. There you go. I guess if they're all seated in properly, they work fine, but... I don't know, stuff like that with ARs annoys me. Anywho, that's basically everything I got, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield. Peace.